All right, so odds are you're looking to uh, prime the old oil pump on your uh, small block engine. This specifically is for a Dodge 318. So uh, first what you're going to do is remove your distributor. If your distributor gear is separate from your distributor, you're also going to need to remove that. So like that, there's a hole right down to the oil pump where the distributor usually sits. And there's no distributor gear in there. You can kind of see the camshaft helico gears there. But anyways, so when you're doing this, be especially careful of that bushing because you can really tear up that bushing real quick if you're not careful. So just make sure that you're getting the priming rod lined up properly. And then on Dodge 318, this is what you're going to have. Long old uh, hex looking thing. Hook that up to your drill. Uh, you don't need too much speed, so don't be hooking up your drill, sticking it in there, and going wide open. You only need about... In the high gear, about three quarters throttle on this here drill. This end will go into the old uh, oil pump, so you're gonna want to slowly spin that till it engages into the little spot it's supposed to sit. And then I have this here because I heard stories of people pushing in the oil priming rod way too down far, and it like blows up the oil pump because you push a little the there's a little something on the bottom there, and it's only held in with a pin. And if you push it loose, then it'll get loose and it'll explode everything. So I just marked that and I just took the uh, depth of the uh, rod for the distributor gear and then the depth of the distributor that's inserted in the block and this is where it needs to meet uh, the top of the block face so I had that on there for good reference. Um, and honestly you don't need that much hive gearing you know I'd recommend like super low gearing on this I did four first and then I went up to eight when it started building pressure. Um, so yeah, it's actually a fairly simple process. Let me wipe this down because it gets super oily. I don't want to get oil everywhere. So I'll just show you real quick. So basically what you're going to do is take the drill with your priming rod. This will look different for Chevys and Fords. I know on Chevys it'll be like a screwdriver type thing on the tip. But um, let's see here. How do I get this angle in here? Right there. Anyway, so you're just going to want to stick that down in that hole there just like this and then get her get her spinning um, I'm by myself in the garage today so I can't really show you but that's simply said how you do it